In this video, we're going to discuss the mechanics involved in creating a captivating video that will serve as a promotional video for a small business. The purpose of a promotional video is to help promote the company and services that they provide. The video is usually short, no more than about a minute or two. The company is Homes for Sale, a real estate company that's been in business for a number of years. When building a promotional video, you will find the entire process will go much smoother if you gather all of your content first and then create a storyboard. A storyboard is basically a block diagram of the various shots or sections that you'll want to highlight and in the order that they are to be covered, sort of like a road map. I have my storyboard created and here you can see I'll start with a title and logo go into the introduction, then we're going to do a crossfade into a slideshow. The slideshow will include still images as well as video clip. And at the end of the slideshow, we'll present some bullet points of the various services being offered, and then the closing. You can also see that we have audio narration throughout it, as well as music, and the music will be able to fade out towards the end. Let's go back to our project, and we can start to build it. Before we actually start to bring content on, I've got to make a couple of settings first. Under the Settings tab, to Preferences, I'll select Edit. I want to ensure that my default photo color is 3 seconds and that my transition is set to 1 second. I'll simply click OK on this. Next, I'm going to go into my Track Manager. Now within the Track Manager, I'm going to add more overlay tracks. These will facilitate the bullets that will be adding towards the end of the project. I'm going to select six overlay tracks and I'll click OK. Now we can start to build. I'm going to start with the title slide and then I'll move on to the video introduction that was previously recorded. I'll take my title slide and I'm going to extend the duration of this to about 18 seconds. Now, if the quality of the video that you shot is not what you had hoped for, you may still be able to make use of the audio. I'm going to drag and drop this onto one of the overlay tracks. I'll simply right click and I'm going to select Split Audio. This will then allow me to very easily delete the video from this. Now let's just zoom back out and we can continue. Now to get a better idea for the positioning of the various elements, I'm going to play through the audio track and we can listen to where the pauses are. If I go into Sound Mixer, I can see the waveform and then I'm simply going to play the track. Trying to sell a house on your own? A realtor can get you more for your house in less time with much less effort. Hello, my name is Ben Carpenter and I am the owner of Homes for Sale. We've been selling houses in the greater metropolitan area for over 20 years, and it's our turn to help you. Take a look at some of the properties we've... Okay, so this will be the first cut when he says take a look at some of the properties. I'll highlight the track and t simply tap the letter S on the keyboard, and this will split that. I can take this element and increase the duration to this point. Now, from my library, I'm going to pull down the next image, which is going to be the background for the slideshow. Drag and drop onto the timeline. And I'm going to extend this to about the one minute mark. Now the next thing I want to do is start to build my slideshow. I'm going to grab my first element. I'll drag and drop this onto the timeline. And let me just reposition this. I'll bring my second image out and drag and drop beside that. Now, if I move this slightly over top, it's going to automatically add a transition for me. Let's continue with the rest of the slides. Now we're going to bring the video walkthrough on screen.
And of course, the video walkthrough needs a frame around that. So I've created a frame. I'll put the frame on my overlay track. And actually, let me just pull this back a bit. I don't want to have a transition into the video itself. So by pulling that out, that will delete that transition. And now I can move it back into place. For the frame, I want to use the same duration. So I'll simply drag this to the end of that. Now you'll notice that as I'm putting these in, my first one is a different size. I've got a frame in a different position. It's very easy to correct this in Video Studio. I'm going to right click on this clip and I'll select Copy Attributes. And now if I select the clip beside that, then Shift, select this one. I've selected all of those clips and now simply a matter of right click and select Paste all attributes. And that's going to make all of these the same duration. It also changes the positioning. I'll do the same with this frame. So again, right click, paste all attributes, and now I'll have to pull this frame back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add the other slides and we'll be right back. Now it's time to add the bullet points in the audio Ben reads off these bullet points and what I want to do is I want to make sure the audio starts in the proper location. So let me go ahead and select my audio track. I'll move my scrubber back a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and click on play. We deliver by having the right tools to maximize the results. We have a large team of specialists and support. And this is where the bullet points start to come in. So I'll go into my sound mixer. It allows me to see the wave pattern a lot easier. I'll move this back a little bit and tap the letter S and that's going to split this clip. And I can move this out a little bit so that my scrubber is over the blank area. And this is when we're going to start and bring these bullet points on. Now to create bullet points, of course, we're going to go into the text library. I'll minimize this. Under here we have titles. So there's a number of different titles that I can choose from and it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping onto the timeline. When you're creating bullets for a presentation like this, you'll want to have uniformity across them. What you can do is simply take your title once you've formatted it with the proper font and coloring and drop it into my favorites folder. And that way you can pull it from there at any time or multiple times and it's simply a matter of editing the text. I'm going to start and bring these bullets out that I've already created. So it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping. And I want that to start and be in sync with my audio. So if I was to click on project and play. We have a large team of specialists and support staff that are ready to help you with. And then we're going to bring in the rest of the bullets. To do that, drag and drop. And I want to make sure that the ends are lined up properly and that will help them be in sync with the audio. And you can see this is why we required the extra overlay tracks. And so now if I go ahead and play that, they should be fairly close to being in sync. We have a large team of specialists and support staff that are ready to help you with things such as home staging, professional photographers that will shoot stills and create video walkthroughs. Let me pause this for a moment. I'm going to take my background and I'll want to extend that out to the end of these titles as well. Let's play this again. large team of specialists and support staff that are ready to help you with things such as home staging, professional photographers that will shoot stills and create video walkthroughs. We even have a dedicated website for your property and legal services. Okay, the uh, final portion is to add the closing for this. So I'll come up here and I'm going to grab this image, drag and drop this onto my timeline. And again, I'm going to scroll over a little bit, extend this out to the end, and let's go ahead and play that. And legal services. 
when you're ready to sell your house or looking for a new one, come visit us at our Homes for Sale office or check out our website and we'll do all the work for you. Okay, our project is almost finished. up. I'm going to add my audio track now. So drag and drop the audio. The volume on the audio is a bit much. We want to make sure that we can hear Ben talk over the audio. I'll bring this back. I'm going to right click on my audio and I'll select audio ducking. What that's going to do is it's going to allow me to adjust the ducking level, the threshold and sensitivity. When I click OK to this, it's going to bring me into the sound mixer. It's also going to take this audio track and increase and decrease the volume to compensate for the speech. That brings us to the end of this project on creating a promotional video in Video Studio. I'm going to go away for a few seconds. I'll do some minor tweaks. We'll be right back and we'll show the final product. All right, I've done the fine tuning. Let's take a look at our finished project. Trying to sell a house on your own? A realtor can get you more for your house in less time with much less effort. Hello, my name is Ben Carpenter and I'm the owner of Homes for Sale. We've been selling houses in the greater metropolitan area for over 20 years, and it's our turn to help you. Take a look at some of the properties we've sold and see for yourself. These are the results that make people happy. At Homes for Sale, we are dedicated to removing all the stress of buying and selling and make it simple for you. Whether you're looking to buy a home, sell an existing home, or maybe you want to invest in a rental property, we have the expertise to make it happen. We have a large team of specialists and support staff that are ready to help you with things such as home staging, professional photographers that will shoot stills and create video walkthroughs, we even have a dedicated website for your property and legal services. When you're ready to sell your house or looking for a new one, come visit us at our Homes for Sale office or check out our website and we'll do all the work for you. For tutorials and topics that were discussed in this video, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos.